Well, uh, to shed more light uh, on this historical uh, moment, we have the pleasure to have this phone with Dr. Sahar uh, Selim, Professor of Radiology at Cairo University, Specialist uh, in uh, Paleoradiology. Good afternoon, uh, Dr. Selim. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Selim, um, could you give us an idea about the most important steps uh, that have been taken in order to prepare the mummies uh, for uh, the transportation process? The, the, the project was um, first organized for by a committee, scientific committee with the different expertise in order to uh, secure the process in a high standard. So um, this included the investigations of the mummy that I did uh, with the CT scan for the 22 royal mummies. Uh, uh, inform the uh, the conservation lab uh, specialized in mummy uh, conservation with the data of the investigations uh, allow them to identify the points of weakness in each mummy they worked in a very uh, scientific and specialized way in order to um, um, well, well, they support the, the, these weakness points in the mummies. We did a re-scan, re-CT scan of some of the mummies after treatment to ensure the status of the preservation is uh, um, within the, uh, what, what is allowed for. Um, then there are other steps that include wrapping of the mummies and put them in a nitrogen uh, capsule bubble that was uh, invented by the uh, Egyptian team. Yes. To, That's to what uh, Dr. Mustafa Ismail to, talked uh, about. To, to, so that the mummies will be staying in their um, uh, controlled environment even during the, uh, the transfer. The, uh, the wagons or the carriages that they, they transferred, the 22 mummies were um, also uh, um, pro produced by the, uh, the Ministry uh, of Defense, and they were supplied with uh, an, or, or shock absorbent. The, uh, the route of the parade was tested, and all the forces that uh, may apply to the mummies were uh, uh, measured and uh, um, estimated if this uh, force would be uh, good uh, for the mummy or not. And all the process went uh, very well as uh, planned for uh, scientifically and tested for several times, all by uh, Egyptian uh, expertise. Yes. Um, so, Dr. Salim, um, uh, uh, how were uh, the vehicles? You, t you, you told me that the vehicles uh, were um, uh, made by the uh, Ministry of Defense. So what were the coordination between uh, you and uh, the team working in uh, the transporting uh, the mummies uh, in order to prepare uh, a vehicle that meets uh, 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 the standards of transporting uh, mummies? Um, uh, uh, knowing the, the uh, uh, preservation status of the mummy was an essential point that uh, gave the, the, the plan for this transportation to, to, to happen. So the um, uh, information uh, generated from the CT scan uh, I, I, that, I, that I gave to the um, preservation and, and the conservation team of the mummies, they, uh, they, they took it and they, um, uh, they, they had the management of the mummies accordingly. And uh, um, I, I informed you that we did even a re CT scan for mummies that had been um, treated or conserved by the team. Uh, in order to, to ensure that they are in good uh, status. And this uh, all was in a, um, uh, the, the, um, the, the, the contact between all the group, scientific uh, group and the expertise were uh, very tight during all the process.
Yes. Um, well, um, um, Dr. Salim, how long did it take to prepare uh, uh, the mummies for transportation from the uh, Egyptian Museum in Tahrir? And how long it would take the committee in order to uh, put them uh, 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 to rest forever in uh, the uh, 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 National uh, 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 Museum of uh, Egyptian Civilization? The um, preparation for the, for the whole uh, process, if you are talking about the, the science behind it, the, the, yes. and the, the planning and, and, and all the steps, it, it took, uh, it took uh, more than two years. Uh, the um, the final uh, transportation or the rehearsal it took uh, also uh, several months uh, in order to, uh, to do. Now uh, after the mummies are uh, are inside the um, the NEMEC or the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, the time for prepare, preparing them to uh, to be to be settled there. It will be till um, April 18th, which will be the opening of uh, the exhibition of the royal mummies at the museum. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Selim, um, were there any uh, of the mummies that you felt uh, um, uh, there's um, even a one percent uh, risk uh, that it could be transported? Um, not, not at all. Uh, yes. All the mummies have were tested and uh, they passed the, the, the check for the safety in order to be um, transported uh, and uh, all the, uh, the, the, the management needed and the treatment and the intervention needed were, were done by the, uh, the great uh, conservation lab. And the, the team included uh, the head of the lab, Dr. Manal, and also uh, Dr. Mustafa Ismail and, and his team. Uh, they are very, very competent and very uh, even. Um, they have uh, like sort their of our own invention. So I, I claim that we set now the protocol to how to um, to conserve and how to uh, transfer uh, mummies, uh, ancient Egyptian mummies or ancient mummies in the uh, the most uh, ideal way. And this has never have never been done before in the world. This is the first time, and by that we are the, here in, in Egypt. We set the model for the world to uh, to to follow our steps in this regard. Yes, um, uh, Dr. Salim, um, uh, um, what were the most uh, dazzling uh, uh, mummy of uh, all the 22 mummies that you uh, uh, saw? And uh, we know that the mummies uh, are full of secrets, of course. Um, um, every, every mummy has its own secret and every mummy is for a king or for a queen. Each one of them is uh, a unique uh, there are uh, a, a lot of, of information that we have already uh, published scientifically uh, on uh, uh, half of them. The rest of them, we did the examinations and the results of the investigations will be uh, published uh, soon. Maybe you have, uh, um, you have uh, uh, witnessed the, the buzz, the international buzz about the, uh, the, our last uh, uh, scientific uh, examination uh, and the scientific work on uh, King uh, Sekhnen Ra uh, Ta, who, who, who uh, actually led the parade, and he was the the, the oldest uh, of the um, of the all the kings and and queens. Uh, Sekhnen Ra, we proved by the CT scan that uh, all the uh, injuries that we we are seeing in his head uh, were inflicted by the weapons of the invaders of Egypt, the Hyksos, and that made, made him a, a real uh, hero. And I, I was so uh, thrilled to see that uh, we gave the full credit for King Sukhnan Ra by our scientific uh, paper, and also that he led the parade of uh, all the royal uh, figures. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Selim, um, 
uh, when uh, uh, now the mummies have been transferred, uh, uh, they are going to be uh, available to the public uh, that uh, Egyptians and tourists could visit uh, and uh, the uh, National Museum of uh, Egyptian Civilization. Uh, starting the 18th of uh, uh, April. So um, uh, they are going to be uh, prepared for this. So uh, are they going to be available uh, on daily basis at any time Egyptians and foreigners or tourists could uh, visit and uh, see uh, the, uh, the mummies? Because when they are, were um, uh, put in the uh, Egyptian Museum at Tahrir, usually when, whenever we go, uh, the room of the mummies are always uh, not available or it's closed because they are afraid of the breath of people. Did you get me? Um, um, this wasn't really the case. Uh, the the uh, the rooms at the uh, Cairo Egyptian Museum for the for the the mummies. There were two uh, room, rooms for the royal mummies. They were they were open uh, to to public. But if you went there, you know that how jammed were the the, the mummies, and they were not placed in in, in a, uh, a dignified way. Uh, unlike the uh, the way that they will settle at the National uh, uh, Museum of Egyptian Civilization, uh, you will find, uh, and I, I invite everyone to go and, and visit starting from April 18th, the, the, the place is, is very well prepared for them. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, place that uh, it is underground and, and dark, the walls are dark in color, that simulates a sort of a tomb. Each uh, figure, uh, a king or a queen, they will have their own section or their own wing, if we can say, having displayed the, uh, the, 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 or, or the mummy or the, the king or the queen resting beside their belongings that they had in their tomb, for example, the wooden coffin or uh, <coughs> other uh, uh, objects. Uh, there will be uh, uh, also the CT scan of uh, the images of some of, uh, of uh, the, the kings and queens will be displayed beside them and showing what, what uh, we found inside the mummy and their story. The labels will be based on the scientific uh, uh, investigations that uh, I did in the CT scan, and so it will be all uh, accurate. Uh, there will be, of course, uh, control in the um, in the visiting uh, the uh, the royal uh, figures. Uh, so the number of the visit each at each time it will be controlled. So uh, and there will also be um, there will be uh, a total silence. They will not be allowed to to be for for any uh, tour guide to uh, illustrate, but uh, this uh, will be done by earpieces uh, for, uh, for the tourists where they can communicate with the tour guide and uh, uh, have the full uh, experience, but in a complete um, silence and dignity that uh, uh, those royal kings and queens of, of Egypt really deserve. I thank you very much for your valuable information, uh, for your uh, time, uh, and congratulations for uh, the successful uh, transformations of uh, the royal uh, mummies. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Sahar uh, Selim, uh, Professor of uh, Radiology at Cairo University. Uh, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a short break, and I'm going to be back with you.